Hello everybody, today I'm going to talk to you about parent communication. I have seven binders behind my small group table and each of them serves a special purpose. I've already showed you my lesson plan calendar binder. Today I want to talk to you about my parent communication binder. Now I am one that believes that parent communication is oh so super important. I mean these parents are entrusting you to take care of their children, their babies, their most prized possession. I want to be sure that I'm communicating as much as possible with my parents. Now one thing that I do try to do every month is I call each and every single parent at least once a month. So I will create kind of a document where I have four or five kids that I call the first week and then the next week and I'll have those list out and I'll just keep rotating that every single month. That way parents don't get used to oh my goodness, the, 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 the teacher's calling, so you've obviously done something wrong. I want it to be more of a, oh hey, how are you? You know, how is so-and-so doing? And I heard that they were, you know, had a really great run in baseball this season. Um, I want it to be more personable. I want them to know who I am and I want them to trust me with this huge responsibility. I am one that believes that I need to have everything documented. I want to be on the safe side. I want to be able to say, oh, hey, yes, we did talk about this. Remember, I wrote this so-and-so down on this date. So I can always have something that backs up my word or backs up the word of a parent because sometimes parents forget that they tell you things. So this is just a really great opportunity for me to keep my, my documentation all in one place. My binder is also the place where I keep any kind of notes or anything that I have sent home and I need them to return that back or any notes that have come in to me. Um, those will just get punched and put into this binder as well so that I can always go back and refer to it because I am one to say I forgot. I forget a lot of things. So I mean there we have three million things going on around us and that's perfectly normal. So. I am going to give you an aerial view in just a minute so that you can see everything that I have inside of my binder and, and how I have it organized. I do want to go ahead and let you know that all of the forms that I have inside of my binder are going to be up for free on my blog. So I will have a link down below so please be sure you go check that out and download those freebies and use them however you want inside of your classroom. I hope they work for you. I hope it gives you an idea to kind of tweak it and make it a little different so it, it fits you and your classroom. Moving on, I'm gonna go ahead and give you my aerial view now. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it gives you some inspiration. And yeah, bye. Hey guys, I am back now with my aerial view of my parent communication binder. So for behind my table, I like to use all of the same color. I enjoy having things that look aesthetically pleasing. Um, so I want to keep all of my my resources that I use throughout the day, throughout the week, um, the same color. So it's all going to be this really light blue color. And on the side, I just took that white label that it comes with. And this is from Staples. Sorry. So this is a Staples brand. And I took, kept the white label and all I did was just print out parent communication with my Dymo label printer and put that right on there. Um, I used the Astro Brights paper to print this on and it's, I mean, it super generic, just parent communication with a little bit of clip art. So here's what my binder looks like and something that I love about these binders from Staples is that they have this um, pocket here and typically like as I'm receiving things um, I will put them inside of this pocket if it pertains to this binder um, so there's nothing in this now. I took another file folder and made a just kind of cute um, folder divider yeah so I made a folder divider out of a file folder and I keep everything kind of in a sequential order so when I go to set up conferences with my parents they will get home one of these 
and this is just a conference request form and these are for for la for last year so i have to make ones for this year that will have my time so once i figure out my schedule for this year then i can adjust my times and copy some so these are some old ones so parents will see this receive this in their communication folder and it just says i'm currently scheduling conference i would like to meet you about your child's progress please look up times below and let me know three days and times that you would be available make sure to indicate the date on all three days i will then send you a confirmation and let you know which of three of these work with my schedule thank you so much for your prompt response so they are going to put their child's name here, their name here, and then I give them times in, in that I'm available on certain days. So Tuesday, Friday, I'm available at 7.10, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, I was available at 9.45, etc., etc. So then they'll write their three different choices. They have the day here and then they will provide me with the time. So um once i get this back then i can go ahead and schedule the conference based on who i receive back first and what i have available in my planner so this is what they get home after i have scheduled the conference they will then receive one of these which is a kind of just a quick questionnaire for them and it helps me to be a little bit more prepared and kind of get things together for my conference so that if they say oh hey you know I want to know more about extra activities that I can be doing with my child in reading I can already have that pulled and prepared for them with this sheet so this year I'm actually going to be doing things just a little bit different I'm really excited about it and I will um, let you guys know how it's going but I'm going to be doing student-led conferences so I created this one which still was the exact same as my last one it just um, has a different title and some of the wording is just a little different so um, I'll write the student and I'll write the parents name up here and then I will have this filled out for the top and it says your conference time will be on blank at blank. Please take a few minutes to complete the bottom of the sheet and return it by blank. So this portion is already going to be filled out. This section is the part that the parents will fill out at home and they will send this back to me. So all it is is just a quick, my student's strengths are, I feel like my child is struggling most with, list of any comments, questions, or concerns that they would like to discuss in detail. Um, and then I would already have that signed at the bottom. So this would come back to me just to help me kind of prepare a little bit better for my conference. And I am still going to be doing student-led conferences. However, I am feeling that with kindergarten, um, I am going to actually hold the first conference um, just for parent and teacher um, I'm gonna send home some forms that the parent and the student can fill out together at home and then they can return those um, and then the next conference during sec the second semester I'm thinking of doing two different conferences where the student will be leading the conference but I still want to have this paper so that I am fully prepared for what the parent may ask during that conference so I'm still going to be sending these home even though I'm doing student-led conferences and that's in this pocket now as students are bringing back this one and the conference request sheet I'm going to be putting that in a section in the back that you're going to see in a minute so those don't get stuck in here these are just my forms that I can easily and quickly pass out so at the beginning of the year I copy like 50 or 60 of these and I already have them ready to go so that I'm never having to run to the copy machine to get these copied so the next one is their don't forget so once they have sent this back to me and I have their stuff scheduled the day before it I will put a don't forget reminder in there so your conference is on blank at blank has my email my phone number and otherwise you know if in case they need to reschedule in any way so this would go home just to remind them that oh hey don't forget you're meeting with me on this day and this time so during the conference um, we have to keep notes now this one I've had and I don't use this one anymore because my school has decided to start providing um, the conference 
form that we fill out during the conference, but this is pretty much exactly what that one is, and I can show that one to you guys in just a minute. But, I mean, tells me who's present at the conference, what is the areas of strength, need, what will the teacher do at school, and then how can you help at home, and then it has a signature and then the teacher signature here. And I usually try to list about three to four in each of these two sections here. So I'll list three to four um, areas for strength and for need. So I fill this out and um, at the end of the day I will make a copy of this and I usually write a little thank you note just saying thank you so much for coming by. I really enjoyed it, enjoyed our um, visit. If you of course have any questions or concerns again please feel free to let me know etc etc. So this copy will go home and then this is filed into that child's um, tab. So again I'm going to show you that in a minute. So instead of using this one I use this one here which is just the exact same thing but it has my, my school logo on it. Um, so here is where the student tabs are and I will have a sheet in the front that has a child's name and you know it's just number form so it's in alphabetical order and I just keep those here. Now I use those for all kinds of things so those papers are literally everywhere that has their number on it. So I'll keep that on there for reference so that in case I do forget and especially at the beginning of the year who has what number because I'm not going to have them memorized that quickly. So I keep that here. So uh, tab, you know, whoever is number one, this is what their section would look like. And let me flip it around. So what they have here is a com parent communication log and then I will write the student's name up here. Now anytime, again, I am really big on making sure that I keep track of whoever I talk to and how I talk to them and what was said, um, et cetera, et cetera, because you just never know um, when either somebody's gonna forget something that they said or you know they may come back and say, well, I don't think I said that and you can have yourself covered. I mean, you're just covering all your bases, basically. So I have the date, I have the parent or the guardian that I spoke with, the form of contact, I just circle the one that I have. So I have a phone, email, person, or note. So whichever form I contacted that parent, I can just have it circled. Then I can write the reason and any kind of notes here. Now, if need be, and this section isn't big enough, I take just a plain white, I mean, copy paper, anything that I can find, and I can write those notes and then I can store them behind. So then, back here, I would essentially have, you know, the conference sheets, these, everything that I've gotten for it, for that child would be stored back here in this, in this section. So it's pretty basic and simple. There's really not much to it. I, I love this method of keeping track of my parent communication. Um, I feel it's really efficient and I don't know, it, it's worked really well for me the past two years. So I really wanted to share that with you guys. I am going to have the parent communication. I will also have the conference notes, the don't forget, the student led, the conference sheet here, and then I'm also going to have the conference request forms. And I'm making them into editable, editable PDF files so that you can use you can use your information and change it up. Um, make sure to head over to my blog, theletteredclassroom.blogspot.com, and pick up all these freebies. I really, really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to leave me any comments down below if you have any questions. And I will be sure to answer those as quickly as possible for you guys. And thanks for watching. Bye. Hello everybody, I am back with another organizing video. So today I wanna to talk to you about homework. I know we have a really long time before school actually starts, but hopefully I can give you